So Ubisoft have released information regarding their Ghost Recon Breakpoint post-launch support. I'm Dom from Cringy Dad Gaming and in this video we're just going to take a brief look at the Year 1 roadmap. So Year 1 for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint starts right after the launch with Operation Greenstone. So. As you can see on the screen, they've got their year one roadmap. Episode one, Greenstone, starts in October, runs up to January 2020. So they've got the new raid, Project Titan, special event Terminator, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to get more information about Terminator. That is, for me, really exciting. It's a very iconic film and idea that I loved growing up and it's just grown and grown and it's, yeah, that's amazing. I think The Predator was so popular in Wildlands for those people like me who love that kind of cult, classic 80s kind of action films. Uh, that's something that is going to be very, very good. Uh, you've got the new factions mission, you've got the new class engineer as well, which they're going to be looking at. So then from February through to May 2020, you've got this new special event, another raid update, new faction missions and new PvP maps, which they're going to be introducing. That's going to keep the PvP fresh. That's always good. And then episode three, Transcendence from June through to September 2020. Again, another new special event, another new raid, new faction missions, and again, new PvP maps. More information about this will be released as time goes on. The three episodes, uh, one, two, and three, throughout the year, which is really good. During each episode, they'll be releasing the content from the roadmap over several regular updates. So there'll be a steady stream of new things to engage with throughout the entire year. Each episode will add a new adventure to explore and will also continue the story of the main game. Each adventure will be around five hours long and all players will be able to try the first part of the adventure which is approximately an hour for free and access to the full adventure is given to all people who have the year one pass. So I think for those people who are not sure if they want to buy into the pass that's a really good way of being able to kind of you know test out the water so to speak on if you're going to be wanting to fork out some extra cash for that year one pass. So raids. The first raid, Project Titan, will release during episode one. It will take you to an island where you'll need to face lethal challenges that will test all the skills that you've picked up in a rower in an intense four player co-op experience. This is got this active volcano, which looks pretty interesting. The raid is fully replayable and adapted to all play styles, but you'll need top notch communication skills to make it through each layer of the challenge. Faction missions. So starting at launch, each faction in the game will start to evolve. Every month, new narrative story faction missions will be released, bringing content as well as character development to the players. Every day, you'll be able to access new faction missions. These missions will provide various objectives to support the faction and their narrative arcs. New classes. So during year one, they will introduce three new classes that can be played in both PvE and PvP. They've just announced the first class coming to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint in post-launch, which is the Engineer. This class will bring expertise in hacking and heavy weaponry. The Year 1 pass owners will get one week early unlock to these classes, so again, another reason to maybe get that Year 1 pass if you, you know, want to try out the new classes. Live events. They will have live events featuring new enemies that will challenge even the most seasoned ghosts. So you can look forward to new added event content every episode of year one. PvP updates. In addition to the new classes that will be fully playable in PvP and new PvP maps and updates will be added throughout year one. Ghost War fans will have consistent updates that add fresh challenge and variety to the PvP experience. Regular new content. Throughout each episode there will be additional content to engage with including new missions, activities and unlockables. So you can find out more information and kind of you know check back for updates either following 
them on Twitter at Ghost Recon. You can also go to the website, which is ghostrecon.com. You're ready for this. Yo, who's the daddy?